Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you how to run the MATLAB code uh, for a study of uh, anesthetic state CSTR. So you can see here uh, you have anesthetic state mode mole balance uh, for CSTR. This is in uh, mole in mole out, and this is consumption by reaction. So your rate is second order so kca square so this is the mathematical model governing equation for cstr so if you see that uh, if we run the cstr for fixed flow rate fixed temperature after some time it reaches the steady state okay uh, so here you can see the input to the this uh, differential equation is v c a uh, c and odd so, steady state can be disturbed if we change the feed flow rate. Okay, this is what we are going to do. So, suppose we are running the experiment at, in our experiment, we change the flow rate by changing the pump speed. So, suppose we are running the CSTR at pump speed equals 50. So, we have an uh, equation which converts pump speed to the flow rate so our flow rate VA and VB will be this so total flow rate is this you can calculate the resistance time by dividing the volume of reactor by volumetric flow rate so this is 121.33 this is the resistance time for this uh, flow rate so question is what will be the steady state concentration at this point when we run the CSTR at pump speed 50 so this we can get it by solving this equation this is a steady state design equation for CSTR second order as our reaction is so tau is here k is the literature value of a constant uh, of the reaction we are studying so this is 0 0.1 and c is 0 is 0 0.1 also so get the conversion just use the solver to get the conversion and hence then you can get the concentration 1 C A naught 1 minus uh, X A so this is the con uh, concentration steady, steady state concentration at this flow rate so why we need it this will be used as the initial condition when we change the flow rate so now suppose we change the flow rate to n from 50 to 30 so your flow rate is decreased now so new flow rate is this so as you can see the we decrease the flow rate residence time increases so reaction will proceed further so you will have uh, more reaction more conversion so reactant concentration is supposed to decrease now okay so this we are looking for is the profile how the concentration from the previous steady state it will go to the new steady state okay so for that we need to solve this differential equation where this v v changes to new value okay k is the rate constant c is the what is variable volume of the reactor okay so now this is the new uh, feed flow rate 2 times 60 at this flow and uh, this pump speed we divide by 60 just to make sure we are working the uh, time uh, in second C is 0, 0 0.1 fixed rate constant value is fixed volume of the reactor you can use the volume uh, of the reactor you uh, got it in lab okay time span we will solve for ca versus time from where to where so this is 0 to 300 around 5 minutes and this c0 is the initial condition initial con concentration at previous flow rate so this one is the one we got it here you can see this is the, the concentration where we got at previous steady state so it means this uh, your concentration will start from here when we change the flow rate concentration was this so that is the initial value of concentration so now and this is the ODE solver to, to get this um, to solve this uh, ODE or uh, differential equation so if you look at here 
So this is a call for uh, in MATLAB. So if you just copy this code, by uh, just make sure you have your own, uh, own values in MATLAB. You will get this graph. Just run the code, and you will get this graph. So this is basically concentration versus time. So it started with the initial value. Initial value means the value at previous steady state, previous flow rate. So from here to here, we change the flow rate, we decrease the flow rate basically. Decreasing the flow rate will increase the residence time, that will increase the conversion of A, concentration of reactant, and that's why concentration will decrease and reach the new steady state. So this is the new steady state, you got it. This, this value, is a new state state and you can get it you can double check this value by solving the design equation of a steady state the the one we did it in the beginning at this flow rate the first flow rate we go, we got the concentration you can get the second uh, uh, concentration by for the second uh, flow rate so it will give you the idea okay this value is correct or not so as you see the concentration is decreasing why because we decrease the uh, flow rate conversion is increasing concentration of reactant is decreasing okay so here i have run it for pump speed from 50 to 20. you can change you can run for 40 to 20 or 20 to 40 or take any two values okay hope it's clear